Hey guys, Bad Infos here. As you know, on this channel I mainly do GTA 100% walkthroughs. I go into detail on how to complete all the missions the most interesting, fastest and best ways. Four years ago I completed my GTA Vice City 100% walkthrough and today I decided to give you a short informational video with a 100% checklist. Here I'll discuss everything you need to know about the game, how you should start your own playthrough I'll give you some pointers, tell you what you should avoid doing, what order you should do the missions in, and show you all the rewards you get after 100% completion. Completing only the main story missions is not enough in order to get 100%. There are also many side missions scattered around the whole map. In my walkthrough I cover every aspect of getting 100% completion, but here I'll show you the whole list of requirements. Number 1. The main story missions. There are exactly 38 storyline missions in the game and you need to complete them all, starting from in the beginning and finishing it off with keep your friends close. In order to complete all the storyline missions, however, you need to purchase certain assets around town. To complete the game, you need to purchase 6 assets, one of which needs to be printworks. However, in order to get to 100% completion, you need to purchase all 8 assets and complete all the missions associated with them. We have Boatyard, which has 1 mission, Cherry Poppers Ice Cream Factory, which has 1 mission, The Pole Position Club, Again, one mission, Sunshine Autos, which has three vehicle lists, Interglobal Film Studio, which has four missions, Kaufman Caps, which has three missions, Printworks, which has two missions, Malibu Club, which has four missions, and finally a separate asset which doesn't count towards the total asset count is for Phil Cassidy. You need to complete the two missions given by Phil. Number 3. The Vehicle Missions. This includes Taxi Driver, which can be done in a taxi, cabbie and the zebra cap, in which you have to complete 100 fares total. Luckily, you don't have to do them all in a row. Vigilante, which can be done in a police car, Enforcer, FBI Rancher, FBI Washington, VCPD Cheetah, Barracks OL, The Hunter and The Rhino. You need to pass level 12 and kill all the criminals in a row. The firefighter mission initiated by getting into a fire truck. Again, you need to complete 12 levels in a row. The paramedic mission in which you need to complete level 12 again in a row. And finally, the pizza boy mission in which you have to complete level 10 in a row. Number 4. The so-called off-road challenges. You need to complete 4 of these. Cone Crazy by getting into the stallion parked on top of the multi-story car park in Ocean Beach. PCJ Playground in Washington Beach by getting into this PCJ. Trial by Dirt in downtown by getting into this Sanchez. And finally, test track again in the dirt track in downtown by getting into this Landstalker. Number 5. The Hyman Memorial Stadium Missions. You need to complete 3 of these. The first one is a race called Hot Ring. You need to beat your competition and finish in first place. Next we have Blood Ring. You need to get your timer up to 1 minute. And finally Dirt Ring in which you have to collect all the checkpoints. Number 6. The Street Races. After purchasing the Sunshine Auto asset, you also unlock 6 street races. You need to win every single one of the following. Terminal Velocity, Ocean Drive, Border Run, Capital Cruise, Tour and VC Endurance. Number 7. The RC Toys Missions. We have three of them. In order to activate them, you need to enter a top fun van located in the following places. On the Ocean Beach in Vice Point, you can activate the RC Bandit Race. On the multi-story car park next to the North Point Mall, you can activate the RC Baron Race. At the Escobar International Airport, you can activate RC Raider Pickup. 
number 8, the Chopper Checkpoint Challenges. You need to collect all the checkpoints by getting into 4 different helicopters located here. In Ocean Beach, you need to collect 17 checkpoints. In Vice Point, where you have to collect again 17 checkpoints. In Little Haiti, where you have to collect 22 checkpoints. And finally, in Downtown, you have to collect 29 checkpoints. Number 7. Miscellaneous Missions You need to find and collect 100 hidden packages in the game. We have 45 on the first island, Vice City Beach, 5 on Prawn Island, 5 on Starfish Island, and 45 on the second island, the mainland. You need to find and complete all 35 rampages in the game, 16 on the first island and 19 on the second island. You need to complete all 36 unique stun jumps in the game, 16 on the first island and 20 on the second island. Get 45 points or more in the rifle range at the ammunition shooting range located in downtown. You need to rob all 15 stores in the game, 8 on the first island and 7 on the second island. You need to pass all 5 payphone assassin missions for Mr. Black. And finally you need to purchase all 7 safe houses in the game, 5 on the first island and 2 on the second island. And that completes the 100% checklist in GTA Vice City. Now I'll show you the best order of completion with no spoilers. When you start off GTA Vice City, you're free to roam around and do any side missions you desire. I suggest visiting your hotel first so you can unlock the ability to save the game. Once you're done, you can do the rest in this order. Since progressing through the story requires you to have a lot of money, especially in the later missions, you may want to start with Cone Crazy. If you complete this side mission in a particular way, you can get an infinite amount of money in a half an hour. I made a full guide about it and you can check it in the description. The second order of business is collecting all 100 hidden packages. Yes, collecting them all is possible at the beginning of the game by glitching yourself to the other island. The video tutorial will be in the description. With each 10 collected packages you get a weapon or a vehicle spawn which will be very handy in the missions. Collecting the last package unlocks the Hunter Helicopter which we can use for Vigilante. Passing this mission with a car is dangerous and difficult. However, with the Hunter it's a breeze. Passing level 12 rewards you with 150 max armor, which would be very handy during the missions. Speaking of health increases, next you wanna pass the Pizza Boy mission because it rewards you with 150 health. Next you wanna do Paramedic because it gives you an infinite sprint, again useful during missions. Next we have the Firefighter side activity. During some missions you might get set on fire and completing Firefighter makes you fireproof. That's why it's best to do it right away. Completing Taxi Driver unlocks the Taxi Boost. It's not very useful during the missions, but can help you out during police chases, so pass it early on. And that's all the preparation you need before starting the storyline. You're fireproof, have max health and max money. Once you progress through the storyline and complete the mission called Copland, all mission markers on the map may disappear. This is when you can start purchasing assets around town. You can do it after the mission shakedown, but I suggest doing it now. Start off by purchasing the Malibu Club and complete the mission The Shootist. After that, go to Ammunition in downtown and complete the shooting range. You wanna do this now because it gives you the fast reload ability, which is very helpful during the rampages. Now you can purchase all the remaining assets, complete all the missions associated with them and start the rampages with the fast reload ability. The rest is self-explanatory, complete all the main missions, complete all the rest of the side missions I mentioned and congratulations guys, GTA Vice City is 100% complete. The rewards for 100% completion are as follows. 
your health and armor increase to 200 hit points. The Frankie outfit spawns at your safe house. It's a special t-shirt. You get infinite ammo, no matter how much you shoot, you would never run out of it. You can recruit 3 bodyguards from your mansion for $2000 each. Any vehicle you drive will have double health. And that's it guys, if this video was not clear enough, you can always check my 100% walkthrough playlist in the description and follow along. You'll see the best and easiest ways of completing the missions. Lastly, if you found this video useful, I encourage you to rate it accordingly and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials and walkthroughs. Thank you very much for watching.